Hi, this is Kirk Simmon with Remax Mainline coming to you again today with another question uh, about real estate. Uh, basically, the question today is what is the difference between buying a single family home and a condo? Um, so some common misconceptions in the marketplace. Uh, number one, a single family home does not have to be four walls and a yard versus a town home, uh, you know, type setup. Um, basically, a single family home is a home in a in a in in a setup that's meant for one family. So it's not a duplex. It's not a building. Yeah, in in uh, regards to the structure itself, so it's a little bit different. But uh, so you can have a townhome that's technically considered a single family home. So if you hear market statistics on the news, you know single family home sales that that can count uh, townhomes. Now, the distinction with the condo is a lot of people think a condo is a flat, uh, meaning uh, just a one story like two bedroom kind of apartment that you own. Uh, actually, any any type of structures can really be set up as a condo. The difference is the ownership of the land and the grounds and the exterior of the building. Um, so you can have a townhome that can be 3,000 square feet and it can still be a condo. It could be a single family home. It all depends on how the association is set up. So. Basically, if you're in a condo, you're going to get exterior maintenance, ground maintenance, all, all done for you. And the reason they call it a condo is because the ground itself outside the building or the parking lot or the driveway or the yard, the roof, the siding, all that stuff is as owned as a common element. So basically, in that situation, you own from the studs in. So generally what you would do is you would get a different type of homeowner's insurance policy because most likely the condo fee would involve the structure policy. So then your, your insurance agent, one of the distinctions, they would be covering from the studs in. So your kitchen cabinetry, your drywall, um, your carpet, your flooring, your faucets, all that stuff and your contents. And then the separate insurance policy would be usually within the condo fee um, to protect the structure itself. Um, that's kind of the difference between a single and a condo. Um, there are some financing differences, rates, eligibility, programs, different things uh, with single family versus condo. Condo is seen as a little more risky. Uh, condo financing has been tough in the past few years. So things to think about, things to look at, things to consider, single family home versus a condo. Remember, it's all about the association and how that's set up. Any more information on single family homes or condos that you want to know, if you want to speak to me, my number is 484 880 2388. Again, Kirk Simmon, Remax Mainline, answering another great real estate question. Take care.